Hey guys, Harmony here. I haven't made a video in a while. Um, it's just because I haven't had the drive to make any videos, and I've been playing games that you guys wouldn't really like. Um, but, you know, for those of you who have never been to my channel and are just clicking on this video, and for those of you who are clicking on this video and you're subscribed to my channel, you all know that I like making videos. Uh, I like making tutorials on stuff that hasn't really been made yet. And you don't know how long I've been looking for uh, a tutorial on how to do this thing. Let me give you some backstory, okay? I got a Note 7, and I had to take it back, and then I got a Galaxy S7 Edge. And I like customizing it. If you're wondering what icon pack I have, I have the Flight Icon Pack, so you know what icons I'm using in this video. Um, and... I always wanted to know how to, you know, have custom icons on the lock screen. Uh, if you know, if you don't know what I'm saying, on the stock Android experience, you know, you lock your screen, and on your home screen, you have all your icon packs. You got all the cool little icons and everything. But on the lock screen, you got the dumbass, you know, bland stock phone icon and the bland ass stock ass dumbass, you know, camera icon. And I'm gonna teach you guys today how to have your own custom icons on the damn lock screen. Now, before we get into this, I gotta let you know a little disclaimer. You know, you're gonna have to download uh, awesome icons, and you're gonna have to download Samsung Good Lock. Uh, Samsung Good, Lo Good Lock is pretty much like it's kind of like a different launcher, kinda. I mean, you can. I have Nova Launcher, but it's kind of like it's like a another like Samsung, you know, kind of experience thing. But it's all good, and I actually prefer it way more than the stock. It's like a more customizable, personalizable experience. But once you download it, it's going to look like a clusterfuck, and you guys are going to have to like make it look a little bit better to your liking. But once you get it done, trust me, you guys are going to love it. And it's going to allow you to have your custom icons and everything, and, you know, that's what you're all here for. Now, without further ado, I've never really done any videos on my phone, so I, I got a notepad on what to do, and hopefully you guys can follow along with me. I'll have some screenshots of what I'm talking about, and you've already probably seen it. And then at the end, I'll have what it should look like when you're done. Now, beforehand, before you start this, download awesome icons from the App Store um, or the Play Store, if you will. Now, what I what awesome icons does it it allows you to pretty much create custom icons, and you're going to need that um, for the next steps. Uh, so when you download awesome icons open it up and hit the plus button in the top right and select the app that you want to create the icon for for example for me it was my phone app um, and change the icon from for the app to what you want I changed it to the phone icon in the flight icon pack and then you create the shortcut and it should add it to the home screen now you can I'd replace my existing shortcut with that shortcut it it really doesn't have any it has zero effect on performance so just do it anyway because that's what I did um, and then after that you're pretty much done I mean you can pretty much do just repeat that for every single app that you want to do you can have as many apps as you want on your lock screen with good luck but uh, then proceed to go to galaxy apps and then you want to download Samsung good luck then after you've done that go to your good luck settings so open up the app tray and uh, find good luck and go to those settings then hit routine and then set your layout so you, when you're going to routines and you set it and everything um, you want to hit next next and then it should say set layout and then you should say you should see like widget you know something else and then apps tray uh, click on apps tray click on the little edit sign and then um, edit it and then take out all like the regular apps that they have or whatever or whatever you want to do but you hit add and then you scroll down until you see shortcuts on a home screen. And then you should see the, you know, the shortcuts with, uh, you know, your custom icons that you said and everything. And you just add that and then you customize it. Uh, for example, you can have the grid, so how many apps you want it to show. I'll show you what it looks like on my screen in a sec. And once you just customize it, after you do that, you can customize good luck and everything and you're done. Uh, this is pretty much a shit quality video. I've never done a phone video, but this was something I looked literally for like two weeks and I couldn't find anything. I made a Reddit thread and then someone helped me out. Um, and I just want to share it with people because I haven't seen any idea 
how to do this. So, you know, if you're not pleased with the quality of this video, understand that this is the first ever and nobody's like shown how to do this. And I'm not a phone YouTuber. I don't do phone videos. Like I, I, I don't know how to show my phone screen and my phone screen's a little bit personal. So I don't want to, you know, deal with that. Um, but I will show you my lock screens. And yeah. If you guys enjoyed, please share this around. Please, you know, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, hopefully this guy, this, you know, guide tutorial, whatever you call it, would help you out. Um, but yeah, because this is just a big problem and I always wanted to do it. And it really completes the look of the whole, like, color scheme that you're going for. And my name is Harmony. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I haven't been making videos. And this.